Hey guys, welcome back for another carving video. So we are about to tackle my biggest project to date. See this big thing behind me? That's 30 inches across and we're gonna be turning it into a polar bear holding a flamingo. You heard that correctly, a polar bear holding a flamingo. <laughs> so let's get started. Good morning. So before we start working on the legs more, I'm gonna try to really shape out the head a little bit better and then we'll remove some of the pallets and then we'll work on the lower part of the legs and then we'll do a little bit more on the flamingo and hopefully get a lot done. I call this the ugly stage just because it's just big, it's blocky, I don't know. It's just, it's the ugly stage so. My goal is to get us out of the ugly stage today, and I don't really have a name for the next stage yet, but um, this is the ugly stage, so let's just get out of this stage and we'll go from there. So let's get carving. Guys, we did it. We did it. Let me turn you around. Our bear bear is finally free from his seat. Took a little bit, but you can see. See how, I don't know. I can't move him with one hand. He's a couple hundred pounds, but I think what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna stack some pellets up there and then I'm probably gonna lean him back. That way I can, um, kind of work on the underside of his legs and the back side of the flamingo's legs. And then we'll sit him back up and kind of go from there. Okay guys, I I would give you a live video of this in case anything crazy happens, which hopefully it doesn't, but it's my job to give you a good show, right? There are probably a couple things I should do before tipping him over, but I'm just too excited. So we're gonna tip him over and we'll deal with the consequences. Uh, Marco's working right now, so I'm gonna try to be a strong girl. So we're gonna just rock him back. Yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Okay, he shouldn't be going anywhere. Let's go.
guys. So kind of drew out the eyes, the nose, and kind of just some of the separation of the lips and stuff like that. We want him to look happy, not scary, like he wants to be friends with our flamingo, not eat him. So we're gonna try to kind of make a smile here, but we're gonna start off with kind of shaping out these brows and then the cheekbones underneath here. I'm gonna curl this in more, kind of like that. Then I'll get out the uh, die grinder. We'll hollow out his ears and everything. But we're gonna start with the eyes, the nose, and then we'll kind of touch base again. Okay guys, let me move so you guys can see. So we got some texture, pretty happy with that. Textured underneath a little bit. I'll texture that a little bit more. He's gonna be sitting so high up on the stump that I feel like if you're a shorty like me, you're gonna be kind of looking up at him. So we'll texture that. But he's coming along pretty good. Um, I'm gonna take a quick water break and then uh we might start working on the flamingo a little bit enough yabbing i'll see you in a second i'm back already um i gave him a lower eyelid i did that off camera but we're getting there oh respirator on okay time for mr flamingo Flamingo is pretty much done. Sorry I left you guys on time lapse so long, but I was just trying to make good progress today. The more I look at pictures of flamingos, the weirder they are. What strange little dinosaurs. I think he'll really kind of come to life um, when he's colored. I think I'm gonna leave the neck smooth just for some contrast against the hairy bear. Yeah, pretty happy. So I'll see you guys in a second. Good morning, guys. Guess who's getting painted today? A little baby.
ignore my sicko voice, but um, today is the big day. Our bear bear goes home, our bear bear flamingo. So it is about 8.30 and they're gonna come pick him up around nine. And we'll show you the finished installed product once it's on.